a frequent topic of conversation during my coaching sessions is how to stick with your food plan through the holidays while still having a good time and enjoying all the food and fellowship that we all look forward to during the holidays. So this can be especially tricky when we are doing some kind of, kind of elimination over the holidays. A lot of my clients are gluten-free or dairy-free or they're eliminating certain foods that they're sensitive to and this can get a little more tricky. So what we talk about a lot is how to find recipes and taking some time to create a few recipes, get a list together of things that they can enjoy, they can take to a party that other people will enjoy, that they can eat and feel good about, they can stick with their plan and they can still feel good on the days to come, right? That's the goal is to avoid those triggering foods for people. So today I thought I would make some coconut whipped cream as a lot of my clients are, are dairy free. And this is kind of a fun treat that we can have during the holidays and enjoy on fruit or maybe in some coffee or hot chocolate or something like that. So I've adapted this recipe from a book that I love. It's called Healing Arthritis with Susan Blom. This is a great book, whether you're dealing with some kind of inflammatory arthritis issue or just for general autoimmune issues, she lays out a really great plan. And she also has some good recipes in the back. So you might wanna check that out. So I've adapted her recipe a little bit. I'm using coconut cream from Wegmans. I have tried this before with Trader Joe's coconut cream and it didn't work so well for me. So that one I love in other recipes because it's super clean. It only has coconut cream in it and that's it. But I have read that their brand doesn't whip very well. So I'm gonna try this one. It does have a little bit of guar gum in it, but this is not gonna be a daily thing. It's just for the holidays, so I'm okay with that. It has a little bit of vanilla, a little bit of honey. I'm adapting that. Susan's recipe has maple syrup in it, but we have a lot of honey at our house. My husband keeps bees, so we will be using honey and some sea salt. So we'll get started. Okay, we'll start with the coconut cream. It's very firm because it's been in the refrigerator for 24 hours. That's a really important first step is to put it in the refrigerator. And I'm just gonna put that in there. I didn't know that it was gonna have liquid in it, so I'm gonna drain that liquid out and just have that solid cream left. So I took a moment to drain out the, the uh, liquid from the cream and now we're just going to add in a few other ingredients, a little bit of vanilla and a little bit of honey. This is two tablespoons of honey and that was a quarter teaspoon of vanilla. Just put that in there. pinch of sea salt and now we're going to whip it up and see how it goes. Pretty good. I'm gonna scrape this down and whip it a little bit more. Try to get some more air in there. I'm using a three quarter quart jar for this and you could just use a quart size jar. I like this size. I have a lot of these because they work great for smoothies. They fit in my cup holder. They're right for storage. They're just the perfect size for me, but maybe a full quart size jar might've been better for this purpose. Okay, let's see. Mm, that is really tasty. I think that turned out well. 
So I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. It's pretty light and fluffy and it, the taste is amazing. And I think it's gonna be perfect on my coffee on Christmas morning. All right, maybe it doesn't look as pretty as whipped cream, but it's gonna taste amazing. Enjoy.